She feeds her great unruly child from here and from the frozen rains that gather in the high mountains. A river's route can mirror the path of life. And even from the glaciers that no longer exist. It twists, hits obstacles, moves like poetry. Droplets plinking like the ticking of a clock. Like some rivers. Life's really good. Noelle Ferris <laughs> goes with the flow. As a kid, I had always had this vision of myself in overalls, covered in paint. The path towards art changed course when Noelle grew up. I did my undergraduate work in biochemistry. A master's in environmental policy later. When I just got fed up with being inside all day at a computer or a lab bench, but I knew that that was my opportunity just to kind of step back and like take a bold leap. More like a cannonball into overalls and out of that lab coat. So there's a lot of science in art. That's where the two rivers of Noelle's life converge. I'm uniting my science nerd self and research dork with my painter self. She paints about how people affect the world around them. Her next subject is no different. The Colorado River. It's the river in the area, right? The paintings are for a show called Tracking Time at the Boulder Museum of Contemporary Art. In Moab, Colorado. This is Hanging Lake. It How focuses on the river that flows through seven states. This is Lake Powell. To 40 million people. With this background in environmental science, I knew that to show at the museum would be an opportunity to create a little more messaging around the body of work. Um, her research trip took her to several spots along the Colorado River. Lone Eagle Peak. Ones people recognize, um, some they might not. Here, but these are the Moab potash ponds. Beauty has like always been a tool to get people's attention. And I think focusing on, you know, painting these subjectively beautiful depictions of the river is just one way to just get people to look closer. Artwork with a message. I. I'm also writing poetry to go along with these. Um, <laughs> Slick green black, a depression in a land of scorched When marital. Noelle set aside her keyboard for a future with a brush, she didn't forget the important stuff. The choice of these Talenti containers as paint storage vehicles was pretty strategic because I, I do love gelato. That dark chocolate Raspberry has just got to be my number one. Smooth and sweet. Not always the description of an artist's life. Deadline is a deadline, but um, her watery brood will waltz wildly through the canyon. Noelle will take the rocks in the stream any day. The growing cities sneaking from the cookie jar. To paint a message okay. she hopes has a ripple effect. Uh, I want to remind people what's at stake. I think that's the core of, of all of my work. Ann Herbst, mm. 9 